Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Viper Guy eighty four coming back at you with another video. Sorry, I've been dormant for a while. I've been busy with work and many other things going on in my life. Um, however, if you're looking at this box, which I'm sure you all are, uh, the great news is that a very important piece or prop of one of my costumes has arrived today. Um, I know some of you guys remember the video that I posted on my channel of a Ghostbusters cosplay that I was working on, and I told you that I had a proton pack being commissioned. Um, the guy that was commissioning in my pack had some personal issues going on and whatnot, um, but needless to say, he finally delivered this thing, and it is flawless, guys. Um, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just get right into it because I'm really, really excited and happy that I received this thing. But like I said, that's the box. Here is the Proton Pack. Um, this thing has taken about a year and three months to finish, um, and... If you're even remotely thinking about owning one of these or building one, it takes a lot of time, guys. A lot of time, labor, um, and needless to say, money. Um, money is, you know, depending on how much you're willing to spend is going to determine how accurate or well your Proton Pack is going to look. Um, but before I get into the whole overview of the pack, I do want to thank Rimshot over at GBFans.com for hooking me up with this thing. This thing just came out just flawless um i couldn't i couldn't be any more happier um you know it, from top to bottom this thing just is amazing um the sound the lighting everything works great um and uh i definitely want to thank him for that and also everybody on gbfans.com if you guys have uh you know for all your comments and all your help in uh getting you know helping me to acquire one of these because these things are very very hard to get um, they only pop up every, every so often on uh, eBay, during, you know, closer to the Halloween time frame. But these things are expensive if you're even remotely thinking about buying one that's pre-built. Um, but like I said, if you're thinking about uh, building one of these or owning one, definitely check out GBFans.com. Um, there's, uh, they got all the plans and everything you need, you know, some of the parts and whatnot in their shop if you want to put one of these together. Um, so, yeah, just definitely start there if you're looking to... Uh, uh, on one of these things. But other than that, let's get into the overview. Um, this pack is made out of fiberglass. Um, the shell is made out of fiberglass. And then of course, you have all your correct, um, you know, legger straights and push fit elbows. Uh, this is a Raytheon crank knob. Uh, I do believe this is made out of resin. Uh, you also have your iron arm assembly. This is real metal. Booster ladder, uh, all your tubing and brass fittings. Uh, these Clipper valves are actually real clipper valves. This is a feature that Rimshot added on my pack um, just to compensate for the weight um, because I actually should have received this pack uh, a few months ago, um, but you know, like I said, it just got delayed. Um, you got your ribbon, Spectra Strip ribbon cable. Uh, we'll just take a quick peek at the side there. There's injector tubes. You got your bumper. H, uh, I'm sorry, that's your in filter. That's your HGA up there. Um, of course, cyclotron and whatnot. Um, this is the thrower. Uh, this also has a real clipper valve on there. Um, and let's go ahead and flip this pack over. Oh, and, and the labels on here are, are not actually metal labels. I probably will end up replacing them with real metal labels or foil labels. Um, got your aluminum motherboard here. Uh, the pack is mounted on a LC2 Alice frame. Um, and then right down here is the power supply. Uh, the lighting runs off of those two 9-volt batteries, um, which are just paralleled um, to double the, the lasting power. Uh, and then you also have these two casings here house the three AA batteries um, in each one. Um, one set powers the amplifier, and then the other set powers the sound chip module. Um, and then on the side, on the left there, there's a separate switch that turns the amplifier on and off. Um, and that just uh, allows you to um, keep the sound off so it doesn't drain so much battery power while you're walking around a convention and you just want to demonstrate the lighting. All right, let's flip this thing over. I think this pack weighs about 20, maybe 21 or 22 pounds. Um, not 100% sure on the, uh, the weight. Um, but other than that, guys, let's go ahead and jump into uh, more of this pack um, and looking at it. Um, let's go and demonstrate the uh, lighting and the sound. Let's go ahead and get this thrower off here. And I actually need to invest in a uh, 
a um, probably a guitar stand just so that I can keep it standing up and won't fall around. But this is the thrower here. Uh, the thrower was actually uh, made from scratch. The body, and then you got your gun grips. I think these gun grips were acquired. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, um, as you see, that's how they're mounted. Um, either way, it looks great. Um, you got your frosted tips there. That's a button on the end that doesn't do anything. And you got your banjos, um, clipper valve, all your gun knobs, which are, um, I think they're resin copies. Uh, you also have your uh, heat sink there, um, all your wiring and whatnot. Um, this doesn't do anything, this is just for aesthetic purposes. Um, but I know that this, a lot of times people use this to, um, and they um, link it up to the tubing that's on the inside and then it can actually move the gun tip back and forth. Um, then of course you have your switches and whatnot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lighting and show you guys what it looks like. Um, here's the switch, uh, activate switch, which turns on your lighting. And there you can tell the bar graph cycles. You got your lights there, another light on the end there, or well, right in this corner right there. Then you have your cyclotron lights going around in the clockwise position. And you got your power cell lights. And then um, we'll go and demonstrate the sound. So I'll flip this back off. We'll reach back behind here, flip that amp switch on, and then fire it up. And you can kind of hear the sound. And the speaker is actually mounted on the inside of the shell here, uh, facing towards the pack um, from the motherboard in the back. Um, and that just allows it just so that the sound bounces around in there. Um, and whatnot. So it's it's plenty loud for me. I really don't need to impress too many people. It's already impressive enough. So, um, but as all packs with the lighting and sound, the tip of the wand actually lights up as well. And you have your bar graph just to signify that it's firing. The vent light as well. Um, and then, um, as with all packs, a lot of people uh, put the Ghostbusters theme in there. Um, some other people like to do the vent sound or the, um, you know, uh, the the pack humming sound, make it sound like it's always on. But uh, I just wanted to keep this more or less for the music purposes. You know, um, maybe later on I'll, I'll change these switches out so that they're uh, maybe three-way switches or something to where I can, you know, change it up. Um, but that also requires me to remove the uh, replica prop soundboard chip and switch some wiring around and whatnot. But for now, I have the Ghostbusters theme. And there you can see it uh, plays the theme song. And then, of course, the second switch. Uh, plays the On Our Own theme from Bobby Brown um, from the Ghostbusters 2 movie. Um, I just wanted to have that on there because not too many people have it. So, um, And the only downside with this switch or this song is that when the, the person that did the soundboard chip, um, when they um, wired it up and whatnot, uh, the, you cannot toggle that song off. So you have to wait till it plays all the way through. And then, um, you know, it'll you gotta kind of let it do its thing. Um, that's the only downside. So it, it'll continue to play uh, probably to, through the end of this video. But uh, I'll go ahead and just demonstrate that. Um, and there's the song. I also wanted to add that uh, the that's a gun mount. Um, it's not the Dixie Cup bracket like you see on a lot of ones. Um, there's a gun track. And there's the S hook that mounts onto my uniform, my belt, or whatnot. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick video of this. I know it's well, not really quick, but um, but just showcase this pack. Um, definitely want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and um, and all the wonderful comments you guys have been leaving me on this um, on my Ghostbusters cosplay. Hopefully. Um, I can continue to do this and uh, change up some things and keep innovating and um, 
you know, just stay in the whole cosplay genre. Uh, other than that, guys, that's it. Thanks for subscribing. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them, and I'll try to get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Other than that, guys, that's it. This is ViperGuy84 signing out.